Today is Saturday, September 23rd, 2023. I'm Jason Shapiro with CrowdedMarketReport.com. A few months ago, I did a video, this was back, I think in the spring, where I was saying, you know, stop shorting stocks. And the idea behind it was not that I had some kind of information where I thought the stock market was gonna go up or whatever. It was not a market call. It was, as what most things that I will talk about, it was a risk management call. Stocks were going up. It felt like everybody just kept trying to short them. And my message was, you know, if you want to be short stocks, that's fine. But wait until there's some kind of market confirmation before you do it. Don't just get in the way because you think that there's a recession coming or you think that the stock market's going down. It's not about what you think. It's about what the market is doing. And then if you wanted to short them, wait for there to be some kind of confirmation, be it let it go back down through some moving averages or whatever it is that you look at for market confirmation to happen, wait until you, you get that. And uh, as it turned out, the, the big confirmation really to me was the NVIDIA news. This is, of course, in retrospect, but you know, NVIDIA had that big earnings report, the market, and it gapped up and it closed down that day, and NVIDIA being the market leader. And ever since then, really, the market has had trouble. But you didn't have to use that. You, you could have used, hey, let it cross the 20-day moving. Let it do something first before you start selling the stock market. All right. And the reason I bring this up is because we're seeing a very similar thing now in bonds. All right. Um, I hear everybody talking about how the long duration bonds are a huge value here because the recession's coming and interest rates are going to go down. And this is just a gift. Right. And that's the first thing. Right. Anytime the market is giving you what looks like a gift, you better watch out. So, what I'm going to say is the exact. Same thing that I said about the stock market back then. Stop buying bonds, okay? Stop buying this TLT. And, and again, this is not me saying interest rates are going up because I have some kind of great knowledge about where interest rates are going. I don't. I'm just saying, look at this thing, man. It's making new lows, okay? It's going down. It's going down. It's going. Why are you buying it? Wait for there to be some form of market confirmation before you try and buy it. Let the market confirm your view. Don't just do it because, okay? Because, oh, some guy I know said that they're great value here. The bullishness in bonds, it just reminds me so much of the bearishness of stocks earlier in this year, right? And it scares me. Let there be a market confirmation before you want to buy it, right? Let it, For me, I, I like news failure confirmation, so let there be some kind of bearish bond news be it stronger economic numbers, be it stronger inflation numbers, be it a stronger employment number, something, and let the market not go down on that. That's how I do it. Then you can think about buying bonds. But you don't have to do it my way, right? Again, let there be a moving average break before you buy them. Something where the market is confirming before you buy, right? Otherwise, you're just making classic risk management errors. And listen, here's a, a market confirmation event that you can do. Hey, this guy Jason Shapiro is on here and he's making a video about how bonds are, are not a buy, therefore they must be a buy. And if you have data saying, hey, I fade Jason Shapiro and fading Jason Shapiro has worked for me over time, then by all means, buy bonds here based on that. But at least it's some sort of confirmation that you have, right? And if you do that, that's fine. But if they make new lows, then stop out because... <laughs> A market that makes new lows is not a market that's going up. It's that simple. You have to do risk management. This is all about risk management, okay? So that's kind of my mess. And look, I can get into all kinds of reasons why interest rates are going to go up, and I may be right about that, and I may be wrong about that. That's not the point here. The point is risk management, right? What we know, we don't know what they're going to do in the future. What we do know is they're going down now, and they're going down a lot now, and the speed seems to be increasing at this point. And if you're getting in the way of that, you're buying a folding knife and you're getting run over, right? So again, just find something where the market is confirming this view before you go ahead and, and, and buy these things. And, and that could be tomorrow, right? Or it could be in a week, or, or it could be a long time away. I don't know. I personally think that they're, they're going to continue to go down. Um, the most bearish people I hear say that 10 years can hit maybe 5%. I could make arguments that 10 years are going a hell of a lot higher than 5%. Okay. Um, but again, I, I could be completely wrong about that. That's not the point. And, and I won't have the trade on if the market starts to confirm the other way. Okay. So 
That, that's really the message here. Just like it was back then about stocks, I'm saying the same thing about bonds here because I'm hearing the same type of behavior in people that are buying bonds here that I was hearing when people were shorting stocks back in March, April, May kind of thing. All right. So anyway, that's the message for today. I hope you enjoy it. Always happy to hear questions and comments. And we hope to see you on CrowdedMarketReport.com. All right. Thanks. And I hope everybody has a profitable week this week.